You should consider collecting these games now. The Pokemon series on the Nintendo DS. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you another entry into the Collect This Now series, where I like to talk about games that I think you should try and find locally in your area for a reasonable price, because the prices online are starting to go crazy. First of all, just some background on this entry into this Collect This Now series. There are 24 Pokemon games in total, and 9 of them are on the Nintendo DS. Here you see 5 of them, which means I'm still missing 4. We have Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl, I'm missing Platinum. Then there's Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, which I have, but there's also the second version of both of those games. Then there is Heart Gold, and I am missing Soul Silver. So personally, I'm still missing 4 of the games from this entry that I'm trying to get my hands on as well. So let's go through my top 5 reasons why I think you should collect the Pokemon games on the Nintendo DS. Reason number 1, of course, these things maintain or increase value over time. In stores, they're usually sold in Canada for about $35, and in the United States probably, I think, about $30. If you buy them brand new, you can almost definitely sell them for that price, even after you own them, and open them, and use them, and play them, and enjoy them. So that's actually really good for collectors, because that means your value of your collection is probably not going to go down over time. And some of these versions are actually over $40 to $50 online. If you're looking to try and get this big box Pokemon game, this is the Heart Gold or the Soul Silver. These ones are actually selling for like $60, $70, and $80 and up online because they come with a Poke Walker and they're highly collectible collector's editions actually. So they're going to maintain value over time for sure. Reason number two, you should probably be able to find these nine games locally at a really, really good price. What I personally do is I post wanted ads on Craigslist and Kijiji. Kijiji is spelled K-I-J-I-J-I. -I -I. A lot of people ask me that, actually. If you post a wanted ad and you say you're going to spend $20 on these games, these ones try and get with the manual, try and get with the case and any other inserts if you can. And in most cases, I'm actually willing to go to $25 to get one of these. But $20 is the really good deal that you're trying to find these ones at. And if you can find the Heart Gold and Soul Silver bigger box versions, I would be able to spend about $50 for that one. $40 is a great target if you're finding an extremely good deal. Because we are going to be really patient with these, we want to try and get all nine of these at a really good price. Maybe half price of online. So reason number three, these games are always going to be in demand because Pokemon is actually Nintendo's second largest franchise of all time, only behind Mario. These games have actually sold over 200 million copies. And that might actually make you think that the market is flooded and there's too many of these games and the prices are going to go down. But this is a huge franchise that there are so many fans of, so everyone's always clamoring to try and collect all of the games in the Pokemon series. So reason number three, I think these things are always going to be in demand. Reason number four, these games are actually very entertaining and the quality is there. So Game Freak takes their time when they're making these games and they make them very addictive and it's really fun to play through these games. So I think these ones are highly entertaining and it's great that when you actually add a game to your collection, it's a game that you want to play. So my wife and I, if we play through the Pokemon games, she can play through Pearl, I can play through Diamond or vice versa. We can have a lot of fun with it, we can do trades with one another, and we can actually try and collect all the Pokemon together. So they're very entertaining and the quality is definitely there with these games. And reason number five, my last reason, the Pokemon series is a lot of fun to collect for. It's like you're going to try and catch them all, just like all the Pokemon. I think because there's 24 versions out there of the different games, it's really fun when you finally complete a series, and I actually only have 14 of them, as I said, so I'm trying to find the last 10 of these, and it's nice to try and work towards an end goal of these ones. So it's great to try and collect for a series and try and complete the entire series. So I wish everyone luck and that they can go collect all of these games and have a lot of fun with the Pokemon series, especially on the DS. The target price that you're going to try and do for collecting these, I think, is $20 to $25. And for the bigger box version, maybe you want to go up to about $50. $60, I think, would really be pushing it. But I challenge you to find a really good deal for these. $20 for these ones, and $40, maybe, for the bigger box versions. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment below. I would love to hear what is your favorite Pokemon game on the Nintendo DS, and if you've had any luck in your region buying these at a really good price. Thanks again for watching, feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.